Well, more than a question, I think I just like a brief reaction. Uh, maybe because we're in the context of uh, the exhibition, I couldn't help but um, kind of like try to make uh, uh, maybe forced uh, uh, connection, but I think it was interesting how when I see these photographs uh, of Ai Weiwei, I see somehow his um, kind of like uh, playfulness in trying to play with the canon and with the avant-garde, no? Uh, the Milo statue or uh, the works uh, at MoMA, no? And somehow throughout your trajectory, there's this constant like battle, no? Of um, you with the canon of uh, classical uh, dance and with the canon of also modern dance, no? When you talk about the group dance as chor group choreography being that very actually, actually uh, dictatorial towards the body, no? Because you become one of many, or no? Mm -hmm. And then your own battle of trying to have like an autonomous language. And I think somehow this is something that I kind of like, as I see these images are, uh, one can also uh, not make the connection at the beginning of, of the work when you talk obviously uh, about uh, a specific contamination and a disease. There is a disease that is also in the undertext of the exhibition, uh, which is not cancer, but it's AIDS. And mm -hmm. maybe this is forced uh, in my reading, but I think that is interesting how, is it too long? <laughs> yes, it is a bit forced, but I think that there's something very interesting about that micro, uh, the most micro politic and microbiotic no? yeah. composition of the body and how you relate it to your subjectivity and to the things that were surrounding your life. So it was very interesting to see it in this context. Thank you. There's more a comment and a question, yeah. as I understood. Yeah. <laughs> But I can add to this that the canon are, were also in a sense. Yeah. That's, a, that's what I tried to say. It's like there are this, yeah, you call this canon. I think it's a good, good word. It's like this thing that one should achieve to be like the others. But in both fields I work uh, in, the attempt is, or in my understanding, at, at least in, in, in what I try to practice in art, that there is a need of challenging what already exists because this is not the truth or because there are problems with it. So there is this ambiguity as much in science as in the field of art. I think, sorry, it's just my <laughs> last direction, but um, yeah, I think that there's this invitation to the constant interrogation of the self, no? Like an, a constant interrogation of what you conceive as your reality. And I think it's interesting that you question the idea of research no, uh, in the field of uh, science. But I think that actually what is very symptomatic of the highly and perhaps um, uh, difficult uh, idea of the, uh, the professionalization of the art field is that in visual arts, for example, the profession the professionalization comes to such an extent that today there are PhDs on artistic research. Mm -hmm. And that is like perhaps the grand mistake, no? That we mm -hmm. have fallen precisely to yeah. uh, that yeah. uh, field. Yeah. Absolutely. We also have a question from upstairs. Ah, great. Uh, how many versions are there for this piece? Or every time you make a new one, uh, even those related to your bi biography? Uh, um, thanks for the question. It's a bit difficult to answer, uh, depend on your understanding of versions. Um, but I can say that I always use the same text and I force myself to read it. So it is about what is written and it's not me standing up here and telling the story, you know, in 1995, I did this, and it was uh, like this. So it's not about telling a story, but it's about uh, reproducing this uh, choreography, actually. So in that sense, there is only one version, uh, the, as well as the, the actions that I do are always the same. I don't try to, to change them according to, uh, to the time or where I present the work. I must say that here, it was a very special and specific situation. <laughs> uh, 
uh, that I rarely encountered because uh, I could not barely do some, um, some of the dance. There was a little bit... St I think it's the smallest place I ever did this, the piece. So this is maybe, let's say, the smallest version in, in this regard. Um, so there is always a, a transformation that, the, that are operated, and it's also what I am interested uh, to do with this piece is that now I perform in this context where it's not the best uh, way to see the thing I, I do, but it's, uh, it's, I'm interested in what the work can produce according to the context and how the context can also act on the work through, for example, the conversation that we have now. I perform this piece in theaters where it's a totally different story because it doesn't relate to, uh, here we relate to some stories and some arts that, that uh, use also the biographical in a certain way and to, to produce uh, something. So there are these bridges and that I'm uh, interested in, but, but actually I don't see it myself as a new version. It's the same piece that uh, goes and transform and work with the, the spectator that uh, the piece encounter. Is um, actually, my question builds on to uh, the previous question and what you've just talked about. I wanted to ask you how the choreography, as you do it again every time, um, how does it transform specifically the excerpts of previous dances? Because every time you do that dance again within this choreography, does it transform your body? Does it transform you? Does it transform something about the original work? Um, just as you said, the, the scientific instruments of observation and research is not totally objective. So it's interesting that there's one version of choreography, like you said, but perhaps it's, not also, also, it's also transforming, as you said. So as I'm interested for you, for yeah. you, not for us in terms of readers, but for you, yeah. does it transform? How does it transform? Um, well, I did this piece a lot. So the, the, av the average and the potential of transformation has, has been somehow covered, I would, I would say. Uh, there was a, I, I, so it's more than 10 years or 13 years that I present this piece. So th there was at the beginning uh, a lot of transformation in, in myself uh, by the fact that I I do something, I cut, and I do something else that has nothing to do with it. So, the, and this is, this is a negotiation to perform the movements that is totally different than if the excerpts are performed in the actual piece, when this arrives after a certain moment of uh, slow or fast to be, to be short. Uh, it, it has a different kind of negotiation that the body, it's, it's a, also the pieces are very much constructed construct as a building up. It's, there is uh, very much a building up of the, the kind of body that I, that, I, that I use. I speak specifically of these three excerpts with the deconstruct body. It's all constructed with this building up, uh, exploring the possibilities, trying to exhaust the possibilities, trying to get rid of the possibilities. And this is a sort of a, a crescendo. So they, the material actually builds on the previous things which here is like, um, it has to start and it's top. So there is, in, in this way, it's very, it transformed a lot, uh, me, the way I perform it. But now that I did this piece quite a lot, this has become a sort of a technique of, uh, it, it is included in the, in the, in the all, it's one, it became really one, one thing that I, I, the, the, the moment where I, I cut and I go and I read, before I was like, <coughs> my voice was uh, not able to, to actually say the word. Uh, and this is much, this, this is the negotiation is less difficult now, for example. So the transformation goes in, in yeah, I don't know if this is, uh, but that, that's what I can say about the transformation on myself. I guess just building on that, the question of why you chose this particular piece, is it because there's a fluidity and a continuation for you infiltrating the space or because there's that asynchronicity, exactly as you just defined, 
that it's exactly that it doesn't fit, or does it? How do you perceive that? You mean the piece here? Here, or in the context of... of that's their choice. They <laughs> well, maybe... I they, can ex they, maybe they can answer, maybe, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they can. Okay. Yeah. Sure, um, because much of the, the materials that you see in the exhibition um, for disparate individuals, um, the strong, just about the strongest link you can figure out is their Chinese uh, descent. And, and if you look at, um, for example, the work of Xie Te Ching, um, there's a huge element of uh, biography in the formation and the practice of his, uh, of his, of his, and his life. So there's that kind of manifesto declaration, and then he puts his body you know, into, a, in, into a certain uh, um, a duration, and, and then he continues. He's very much, I, I think, very aware of the strategic, strategic means with which he um, would subject his body to a certain dispositive. Um, so it's with this kind, and it's also uh, Ai Weiwei, you know, when you look at him, I think uh, he was very clear as well about the kinds of relations he was building in that community, who is who, who am I in relation to them. So it's this kind of biographical, um, um, what do you, would you say, biographical uh, element mm. that I think um, totally resonates yeah. uh, with Xavier's uh, uh, work, of this particular work. Yeah. The, way so I, the way I see it is also very clear that the exhibition um, points at the, con the construction of a subject and the construction of art of this subject. So how, how does that happen? What, uh, so what is like the political uh, element which is clear in, in, in most of the, of the parcours of this, of this artist? There is uh, an, uh, something there very important. There is a, a cut, a transformation that... Uh, uh, so I, s I see it very much, the, the link is uh, with, with the work I, I present, is this construction of the subject and this, what I call circumstances, it's all the circumstances that make this art, as much as the artist, it's not the artist, uh, this person alone suddenly uh, is visited by whatever uh, force from, from, yeah. So I think th this, this is the, the link that I, I see. But they, but they choose. Uh. <laughs> No, it's also and I say that yes. <laughs> well, it's also that Xavier has never ever been presented in Hong Kong, and I mm. thought this was actually the right uh, an opportunistic moment to you know introduce him to the public, and hopefully more mm. of such uh, what we call conceptual choreography, mm. a very problematic term uh, in, uh, in the last uh, ten fifteen years, mm. um, could be. Um, looked at mm. and debated upon and, and hopefully to instigate uh, uh, the production of, uh, of, of dance and performance mm. even within the visual field. Yeah. Yeah. My work is rarely, look rarely like that. Huh? <laughs> it's one thing, but the form of the works is are very different from one piece to another. Thank you, you just answered my first question. <laughs> So, um, but I still have two questions. Um, first, I wonder, um, in many um, performances, the actors, they create um, like a more private um, space they call the stage. And so um, the audience kind of like cut outside. And I wonder how do you perceive the uh, interaction between the audience and yourself, and also how do you like perceive the, um, the impact of the environment on your performance? And the second question is, um, I wonder, um, in the two spheres or worlds you created, one is um, talking, lecturing, or speaking, and another is like um, acting and um, dancing, or whatever you, yeah. Um, and you also mentioned the social and political um, circumstances um, 
uh, I'm, I'm surrounded in your in your work, and I. Uh, it seems like to me there's um, one side is more like uh, a narrative, and uh, connect to the real world uh, where you have to work out the paper to get money and, and make a living. Another is more like um, about yourself, more private, more mm. something different. You know, I <laughs> yeah, and I think the the work is about how the link between this public and sphere how and this private sphere that you uh -huh. talk about. That's what I try to to expose. That's this that uh, that I think it is not so two separated words. Like you, I, I, yeah. I know that it is th that is how uh -huh. we we perceive. And do you try to like um, intentionally blur this um, boundary? Well, w maybe what I try to do is something that would think about. I don't dare to say the sentence, but I will. Uh, life as art and or art as life. Uh, which is horrible to say, because it do, it doesn't because it doesn't it doesn't work like this. Uh, I I think li life cannot be art and art cannot be life. But nevertheless, uh, there are these um, interactions that one does the other and vice versa. And that's um, that's maybe what I try to to expose uh, in in my in my case. So not to say that. My life is definitely not a piece of art. But I hope that what I propose here is a piece of art, but it's not my life, but it uses my life in a certain way. So there are this, there, and, and then this is one level, and after there are the other levels that I try to, to, to expose by the, the back and forth between working on on the body in a certain way, thinking the body in a certain way, how this is influenced by the different encounters that you have, uh, people, uh, city, the geography, etc. So, so that's that's more the way I I think or I I try to expose. Okay. And the first, um, so what was the first question? The first question. Uh, the very bad. The, the uh, environment, ah, uh, yeah. the interaction with audience. Um, it's interesting that you s you say this. Uh, how how did you feel tonight in in relationship to this um, separation? Because if you ask, I don't really know. That's why I ask. I guess you already know. I no, I don't really know. That's you don't really know. Yeah, so uh, so there was a yeah. So a, a question about yeah, yeah, yeah. are we there or are we really? Yeah. Separated. Yeah. 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 yeah so um, this is, for example, very specific to this context. The same piece presented in a, in a theater environment. Uh, the distance is bigger. You, I am more like there, and this is the 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 theater operates on what I do. Here is the room. We are definitely in the same room, even if we try a little bit of performing the separation of the fourth wall. It's not disappearing, it's there, but it's a different nature than it, it will be in, in, um, in the theater. But uh, I, mean, I was asking because I'm very curious about this question, because that's one of the important uh, thing in what I do, I think, is to question this, uh, how does it work, this relationship? Can we, is it really like separate? What and how functions this separation? Can we change it? And by changing this, this, we produce actually other kind of performances. For example, the moment we have now, which I, I for myself perceive as part of the performance, is is a is constructing a different kind of a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, we, I'm still here. You're still there, but you can talk also. This is a very different thing. So I'm. I'm and this is proper to being together, mm -hmm. which is, from my perspective, something specific from uh, to theater, which you don't you don't necessarily have in in visual art or in exhibition space. Well, now uh, there are contra example, of course, but in in general. So I am always curious to and uh, try to 
sh shift a little bit this security okay. that we like to make it maybe unsecure. So that's may very uh, it's for me a, a compliment that you when you say, yeah, I didn't know, and this yeah, is okay. this is very this is very good for my point of okay. view. That aha, uh -huh, I have to renegotiate this. This is not exactly like it should be. I see. Okay. So and then you pay, you ask the question, and this is good uh, for its production of the. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm curious to know from you um, how you work with other other artists, other dancers, or musicians, other artists. So this is one question. And second question, I was just in a nursing home before I came here, right opposite the street. And I was just imagining how these old people, you know, sitting here watching you, or you will be placed in that situation, um, working with them. You know, I, I just thought, you know, it will be something really wonderful because you're so sens sensitive to to um, your own body um, and I feel this you know serious concern about your s your way of looking at the environment people around you so I just place you with these old people um, you know I'm I'm just curious how you would uh, bring about your own self into such such situations i should definitely come back to hong kong huh? <laughs> 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 this sounds like a really exciting project uh, yeah how i work with uh, other persons um, it really depends on on the on the on the work on the kind of work um, i i can only speak out of uh, example because I think each work is, is different. Uh, I have, for example, worked with musicians um, and but I work with them not as they perform the music for a dance, but I work with them as performer trying to transform and use their body as something that produces a choreography. Uh, so I in this specific case, I, w I work with their knowledge somehow, and uh, and I propose them to try to emancipate themselves from their practice in order to to help me to listen the music. And uh, it's a specific uh, context because it's working on contemporary music. I have no music education, so when I listen to contemporary music very often is like it's contemporary music so it's it's like a, a word very very far away from me it's it, it's very difficult and needs time to listen re-listen and if you go to a concert of, um, of contemporary music where where i would say these people work on how what is music now what should be the music from now so i should be able to to get something to share something but it's difficult so i work with them in a in a way that through the movement they will make the music that i i and and hopefully also then the spectators can also listen to 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 this uh, music so there is a in this case an, uh, a negotiation of uh, they somehow give me and I give them and we ex exchange for this uh, for this goal but on top of this uh, it's musicians have, have, have the specificity that they are always on time they work with time like really so three hours a break of 10 minutes three hours a break of 10 minutes it's also it continues because they know uh, like time is very precise so this is uh, also something uh, I, I, which is specific, for example, for the work with musician. Like I work, I prepare a lot before when I work with, with them, so that in the three hours uh, things should happen. It's very different if I work with a, a group of, let's say, uh, another project I did with 20 
dancer and choreographers where there is a, a main question and some proposal from myself, but the work is from 10 to, to 18 and we basically discuss, discuss, try, discuss, try, discuss. It's a diff totally different um, uh, mode of, of, of researching. So there's two, for example, two very different way for me of, of, uh, of working. But every time I work in a group, it's for me very difficult because I think groups have uh, dynamics that tend to reproduce how a group function. Meaning, listen the boss or the anarchy. Everybody does what he wants in all directions or everybody listen to one person that should tell the others to say. For me, these two systems produce certain kind of things. I don't necessarily am against, but they have their problems. And when I work with a group, I try to challenge this thing. It's very difficult because a group tends to want, if you say, ah, oh, let's work together, everybody, three, after a while, they, I know this from experience, they turn to you and say, tell us what to do. No, but I don't want to tell us what to do, we should do it, to, no, no, tell us what to do. So they, there is this need of a want, the, and then you tell what to do, and then two days after, you are excluded because you are the boss and this doesn't work. So this is the two poles that are always di uh, difficult. It's in us, huh? I mean, in, in our yeah, condition, I think. So that's how I work with others. Hello, hello, I'm Victor. I hope you still remember me. We met before in 2000 in Norway, which I saw your work the first time <laughs> in, in October Dance in, in Bergen. In 2000 then? Yeah, in Bergen, Norway. Mm. And I know that uh, that is my first time I saw your work. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, my question is about in these 14 years, you've been repeating this work. Uh, what is your feeling in this? Period. Did your body change and did you adapt and adjust yourself during the whole process? Because as a live performer, so you keep repeating the same things. Mm. Sometimes you have to adjust or develop it, or you you still um, doing the same thing. So um, might be there slightly change, right? Um, you c um, can you tell me something about your feeling in this 14 year when you're yeah. doing this work? Yeah. Well, I think I already somehow answered when uh, when I say I this. I just away. <laughs> but uh, are you were not there. Uh, ah, okay. I can repeat very 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 short. Uh, the piece I try to do the piece always the, s the same. That's why there is this text that is repeated and the actions are repeated. Of course, like in a situation like tonight. The dance is very transformed by the by the, the the space, and what I was saying about this 14 years of performing this, what something that has changed and uh, transformed uh, myself is um, f the negotiation between the moment where I I do actions and the moment I read the text, and the, this going back and forth. This was uh, this something which become somehow. In integrated, it's it become part of me to do this, and which was not necessarily the case bef uh, uh, before. I was saying this example that I would come and most of after the first action, I was <gasps> I would breathe like this. Don't find my my voice, um, which is now less the case. I, I this negotiation is is somehow part of of me. Um, and part of, of the piece. But there is one anecdote maybe that is interesting, uh, a, a relationship to this. I first did this piece in English, so the, the, this was the, the commission was in an uh, uh, international framework, should be done in English. And a couple of years after, I did it for the first time in French, and uh, which is my mother, mother uh, tongue, yeah. <laughs> no. But my, how do you say? Tong. Yeah. So, um, and the first time I did it, uh, 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 my voice was like, uh, it was very, very much 
more emotional and somehow too close to myself. This English uh, allows this, um, allowed me this distance of, I say this, it's me, but uh, it's not my language, so it helps to, to put it there. And by using the, my... Uh, uh, I write it in English, yes, and then translate it in, in French. So it, the French is also with some weird, some weird uh, English things. But the, the, the fact of saying the same thing, like uh, I remember when I say um, the same year was the painful ending of a three years long love relationship. When I say it in French, la même année, now it doesn't function anymore because it has been also integrated. It's like I worked it. By, by repeating it, and then it's uh, become. But the first time is like, when I say this sentence, it was like, ooh, um, and up and down, showing that this is still somehow operating in, my, in myself, which had a certain uh, interest, I think, in a, in a mode of like what you perform of yourself in the piece, we, like how the unconscious uh, is operating. This, this is, but this is not happening in, anymore. The, the, the work became something, something else. But I insist in doing it like this uh, because I'm interested in what it becomes. And it's interesting for me to observe that when I gave the, when I gave the title, Product of Circumstances, I didn't think that would show it so many times. It was really not the plan. It was planned to do this in, for this context, one, one context this, that I talk about in, in Vienna. Then it was tried in a dance festival context, but this, this is me who pushed it because I was very curious to see what this would produce in another context. But then I thought it would be anyway sort of a, people don't want to, to hear this. Uh, but surprisingly, it was asked again and again. So after a while, I came to the question of what should I do? Should I now, after three years, should I speak about what I did after uh, 99? And I say, no, I will not. I will continue, insist on this, and see what, what it does. And what it does is that it makes the piece become much more product than it was before. So it's, it's and this is, inter this is a, uh, an interesting byproduct somehow of, of the history for me of, of, of this work. It's, uh, yeah. So I'm, and I, I'm also, I produce this work, but somehow, like we see today, this work produced me. It's the work that brings me here the first. It, it, it happens since a couple of years now. Like places where I've never been before, very often this work is, is bring. As we present, they, and it was, it's interesting because there is very often this, they present me as an artist or as a name that maybe has circulated around now. So I am also produced now by the work in a, in a certain way, which is a, another thing that happens to, to me. Yeah, it's for me. Oh. And I think it's very interesting that like you mentioned a lot, you know, what you got the reflection through all this many times performance. And I guess like with this very autobiographical nature of the piece and your own performance seems like a, no question for that. But at the same time, I'm also curious, like have also ever thought about like working with another performer for the piece, as you also mentioned in the beginning, it's so much about this choreography. Everything would be simply scripted and then some other people could really you know, um, perform it in that sense, and how important is that presence of the artist in this piece? And also, like, you mentioned that you were simply reading it. In that sense, would it be something very different if you can consider, like, in a very person, you know, status to look at this work? Um, the, the piece exists as a score exactly for this reason, that uh, it if somebody wants to do it, I'm very happy uh, that they take this text, they read the instruction, and they just do it. And it happened a couple of times. Uh, I have myself no interest in like looking for somebody to, for example, to say, ah, uh, to Fouquet. No, I had, I'm not free, but I, I can 
uh, tell somebody, you can, well, we could have done this, but I'm not so uh, interested in this. I like that it is, because then it's all machinery and it's, but I like very much the idea that somebody takes the score, it's, it's for free, you can find it everywhere, and, and just does the, the, the performance. This, I think, is, is uh, much more interesting than me working with somebody and would tell, oh, no, 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 you should do it like this, you should do it like uh, this. is uh, very uncomfortable for, for, from, uh, as, a, as, a, as a way of doing. But I have this other, uh, I have very often this question for, uh, it's the first time that I have this question like this for this piece. I very have often the question for another piece, Self and Finish, that I did also 14, and then I continue to perform, which is, it's only movement, and it's more, it's physically more, it's ch challenging, um, yeah, for what, what happened in the piece. And of course, 14 years, I'm 14 years older, and more and more people <laughs> project and, and see, but uh, how long are you going to be able to do this? Uh, don't you want to, to teach it to, to somebody. Um, and I don't think it's because I think the artist should be there, but this is so attached to, to myself. And if I cannot do it, it doesn't, maybe this piece doesn't also need to continue. Uh, it's, so it's also a life uh, of a work. And that's why I insist to present works uh, that I did uh, as a, and not go to the next new thing, uh, which is somehow also one of the symptoms of, of our time. What is a new thing? Well, the new thing is this, but maybe it's not so interesting, the new thing. Maybe the, the old thing is better. Or So I'm uh, insisting for, the, for this reason. But with this piece, uh, what it does to the fact that I dance it since 14 years, uh, the I see my, I, of course, feel how my body has changed in these 14 years. And this is how I, I, I feel. It's very interesting. It's a, it's a great experience to see like the time that is needed to do certain things, how the, yeah, the or it's, it's very much in the organs, like they drop differently or something. It's like, yeah, it's, it's very, it's age. And this is very, it's, it's a luxury to be able to do, to do this. Yeah, I totally understood that. And what I asked about the presence of artists, yes, obviously, I, yeah, you, you mentioned that how you could discover, you know, throughout these years, but how you consider, like, audience expectation of the presence of artists in uh, this yeah. work, is it important? Yeah, no, I, I just did a, an experience, uh, a, a new work, uh, which is called Retrospective, and it's an exhibition work. Uh, that I did in the Fondation Tapies in Barcelona, where the principle is that... Yeah, I can explain a little bit more what is, because it has to do with this question of the presence, uh, I think, for, at least for me, it's a one of the uh, answers. And this, this, so this work uh, happens in an exhibition space. It's an, ex it's an exhibition that ran uh, uh, in Barcelona for two months, so six days a week, nine hours a day. Um, and it was done with uh, the presence of six performers during the whole time. So from 10 to seven uh, this every day. And uh, the organization was made with the uh, in total, 16 performers, so two shifts. They work four hours and a half in the morning and another team of six work four hours and a half. In a, so it's not about them being there, uh, exhausting and uh, endurance. It's not at all about this. Not this kind of, uh, of work. Another uh, position. <laughs> yeah, but it's important because performance has this, uh, or also through Marina Abramovic is uh, another example of, of very often the, the, the subject of endurance is, is very linked to performance, but it's not the only way. So for this work, the six, uh, this, this all the 16 performers uh, work with all the materials of all my solo works that are used to be performed and to be, to produce this work in the exhibition space. So it's not about performing like this work or self and finish or uh, Sac du Printemps in an exhibition space like they are, but it's more to use the convention of exhibition space and the convention of the, of the theater 
and use one against the other or for the other to see what transformation make these conventions on work that have been produced for a different kind of conventions. Meaning the work is produced for uh, a public, uh, a group of persons. That's how all my works have been done until now. In the exhibition space, that's not what you have. You have, uh, you have uh, individual or a couple or little groups that goes in the space and choose what they want to see. So all this um, uh, work that is that are produced in the organization of a certain duration, which is about an hour, like tonight, I organize your time tonight. When you come in, I start, and I have done the old dramaturgy in order to give you one thing after the other for during this hour. If you go in an exhibition space, this can happen, but the, the, the major uh, way the, the art is, is shared is you choose. You look a little bit here, this is not really interesting, but here, so here you look, summer, winter, nah, so you spend maybe more time because there is less information, or you have a, it's, it's a different uh, uh, re relationship. So uh, the work are uh, performed in the, in the, by, through excerpts, and there are four different modes of performance of the, uh, of the, of the work, uh, which are, try to reflect the time in the, how the time is used in a gallery. So usually you have objects in a gallery like this. This thing, they are here all the time. They are immobile. So one of the things that the performer do is we have chosen like a series of 20 immobilities, we call them like this, which are taken from the, uh, from the material. So there is none from this piece I cannot uh, uh, say, but uh, maybe there is one like this. So it's somehow producing a sort of a sculpture out of a moment in the piece. So this is one way of how the material is used. There is another way which, is, which refers not to object and pictures but to video, which is uh, doing loops. So mainly uh, in, we are now very uh, used to see video works in, in exhibition space. This is very common. It's part of the, of the, the medium. Uh, and it's, all, it's most of the time, and it's always uh, actually loops. So something that is always there, present in the space, by mean of repetition. With you recognize the end is the beginning of the end is the beginning of the end. And what it does in general to me when I go in a, an exhibition, I look at this. Ah, okay, it starts again. And I go away. Maybe that's not the purpose of the artist, but at, at the, at a, in a certain way, that's how it operates on me. So. This is the other way we use the material of the solo works. So the uh, one performer performs a loop that is, a comp that is an excerpt of, and we have seven or eight in total from each piece. And the third uh, mode of presentation that cohabit uh, uh, simultaneously in a space is um, what I call their retrospective of my work through their stories. So through their life, actually. So it's basically using this piece, the structure of this piece, so they, they choose, each performer choose excerpts of the work that they learn, that they work. Um, and for example, it starts like this, so they will, uh, the visitor is, came in and the, the action has started, they are all in, in position. And one is performing something, uh, an excerpt of the piece, and would walk to the visitor and uh, say, hello, did you see what, you, what I, I, I did? And yes or no. So, and they say, so this is an excerpt of a piece called self Unfinished, made by Xavier Leroy in 1998. And this is also the beginning of my retrospective of the solo works of Xavier Leroy for this exhibition. And in 1998, I was 12 years old, and I was uh, actually learning gymnastic. And in the, in the gymnastic exercise that I do, there was this exercise that we were doing that actually remind me to totally to this, et cetera, et cetera. So they create their narrative of through their point of view, their experience, and then they go do the next excerpt, and then they go back and continue. So they do sim the same thing. So this too, too long answer to, for, to your question to say that in this, context, I'm not 
perform i'm not i'm there i'm there because of uh, uh working with them but i'm not there present it's not me performing this thing and it's them choosing this and performing in the way they they need to perform so i can help them to if if needed but it's not at all important that um uh, that it's done that the artist is uh, present it's another it's another work so i don't i don't think it is a generality that that uh, yeah the person that has done the work should should be there should perform be there maybe yes i would say more <laughs> sorry that was a very long answer now to <laughs> to come this but we had talked about that maybe we, it was interesting to to this to that I explain this work but which is the most recent thing that I did ooh this was you yes when you work with uh, your body how do you sense of your body how do i sense my body is very different according to what i do uh, in general or in in something specific cuz i just think uh, just so the journey of your body movement is quality is changed something yeah so. <laughs> but the the sense uh, for this work uh, which is used a lot of uh, like we do now a lot of talking <laughs> it's a very different than if i relate to like self and finish where i, I it's very slow movement it's very it's more meditative, so it's I'm more like in this other work is more like a, a, a relationship to meditation or imagination. Uh, here, here it's different according to what I I do the the dance of Yvonne Rainer with the with the pillow and the chair. Uh, I I have this. Suppose it's supposed to be it's on the on the music, so I have this rhythm that I try to follow. It's it really there is not a general feeling that uh, I can speak. What about, about before you present about something like bird, bird, a bird? Ah, this is what you see, but I <laughs> 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 this is very interesting that you see a bird. How do I feel when I do this? Ah. It's a difficult question. Depends. Sometimes I say, "Oh, you did it bad. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, the the shirt is too short. <laughs> uh, tonight it was this. Oh, the shirt is not good. I don't. I cannot put my arm here. That's what I felt <laughs> when I did this. Exactly this one. Um, but uh, I'm I'm very active in doing some some task. So I'm busy. Uh, I would say the sense of my body is that I'm busy to do these things, to think my arms as not mine, to have the the ground, uh, the feet in the ground enough to have like it's a lot of uh, information that I have to. That's what I sense. Plus these little changes like the shirt or something like this, or the today the the wall like like oh the, that's. The, today, that's very much how I felt. It's like how the 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 space is is pushing the the my sense, <laughs> not where they want to go. Actually, I'm very interested that you were doing um, the, the research about your biology, and at what point that trigger you to go and take a dance class, and then and you said about function and necessity. And because this whole thing is out of circumstances, and uh, when did this, this necessity come? That, and then throughout this journey, and when you arrived now, that mm. you look back at this biological molecule research, do you see the point of this whole dancing and so-called journey has changed the way you look at this whole research? Mm. Uh, the first dance classes is. Uh simply because I had a friend that was playing music for jazz class and he said, ah, oh, you should come, it's fun, it's a lot of nice girls and, uh, <laughs> and, and I sometimes I also do the class and, and I say, ah, oh, great, that sounds really good. Uh, and 
as I said in the piece at the beginning, I'm, I, I was doing basketball, but I was also doing a lot of sports. I was um, uh, always in the need of moving uh, any things. So this sounds great. And it started really like this, but without, uh, without no master plan of, then you go and you go again and then you don't go, but then, and then somehow, as I say also in the, in the beginning of the, of, the, uh, of the piece, there is an important uh, emotional uh, transformation with this rupture of this relationship where I was very destabilized, very, uh, well, people know love crisis, I guess, uh, if, if not ask your, <laughs> your neighbor, but I was uh, totally uh, destroyed somehow. And this state has participated in, in doing more dance somehow. There is a relationship. This has a very much uh, initiated something which was something else than I do this because it's, it's fun and, and, and I like to move and, and, and the, the girls are beautiful and it's super. It's, it then was something different. It's like through this practice, I, I was uh, at the same time constructing something and um, getting rid of something or trying. It was a place of, in a way, therapy, if I, one can say. I hate the word, but it's, there was something that is function. And then, uh, then I, yeah, how I said, there was this growing desire as a potential of this can be something. And then the practice encounter these problems. That's my projection. Then it's a struggle. Then there is a long battle of my desire of dancing and, and the impossibility somehow. And then the next step is the, the journey. If you ask, it's very much this, very simple actually. And then there is a moment where I start to do things myself and, and where I can reverse these this, this problems or work on these problems. And that's what, what I say in, in the piece, is like to, to make it not a problem, but a, actually a, a great thing. And then it's a lot of pleasure somehow. If this is the answer, uh, it struck me while watching the piece um, again that in the scientific field you were working in, progress, the idea of progress, is uh, made by building new revelations and continuing, not so much to deconstruct, I feel. Uh, whereas in the dance field that you entered, uh, you were seeking to break down things yeah? and, and to assert your individuality, to produce this piece called Product of Circumstance. So repetition has of this work, uh, uh, since it's so popular, um, has also, of course, put you into a framework of the same politics and economy that you were trying to uh, expose or, or, or challenge. So have you, ironically, uh, uh, become a product of product of circumstance? And how has that um, revelation that you, you have entered this kind of uh, impasse uh, 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 has seeped into your uh, later works and practice to become more processual yeah, than a product? Yeah, this is an interesting. Oh, is this you? It's me. Um, that's a very in interesting remark. Yeah, it links to what I was saying, and this, I feel I'm now produced by. That's also what what you what you say. Yeah, and this produced by this this piece. Um, and I have been somehow swallowed by this, like the system. Because anyway, you, you, there is no place outside of the system, so it's uh, it's a matter of looking for how one can function in it. Um, it's it's true that there is this 
the use of the you say pros, pros more involved in the process huh? yeah there is this this is one strategy of uh, insisting on 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 the process as being the the work in order to try to push away the the idea of product obviously but not denying it the, the proof is that i still do product but uh, my general attitude uh, toward this is to uh, challenge the expectation because that's that's the problem you that's the problem you are in in front of you you have done something there is something that is a little bit recognized and the expectation is that you repeat which is it's more twisted. You should repeat with a new thing. So you should be, do the, the, the same so that you, you actually get what, you, so that people get what they expect. But they expect that it is new, but the same. It's impossible. So there is this, uh, um, my, and my strategy uh, to work with this is to in, insist on looking for other other format so this this was uh, s something that was produced after self and finished where there was after self and finished definitely the expectation of i do self and finish which is a solo with five people or 10 people like this growing into a company and and this was a, a very um this decided uh, step that I said no to these offers that were uh, coming, and I insisted on on that. Where instead of moving all the time and having this somehow transformation body as a image, I just talk for 60 minutes or, and and do something which is more like a lecture, which has nothing to do with with the format of the of the previous. I have the feeling I work on the same question. It's the same, very similar things. The, and um, and so on. The next the next piece I did after after this was actually the piece I did for Jerome, so which was a piece from him done by myself, where uh, I'm, I have I somehow find a way to to escape this expectation, and f for him also I guess. Uh, so. <clears throat> Next piece is with the 20 people about games, so it's all with balls and, and, and this thing. So it's, it's a, but it's, just, it's also what I say, it's an attempt of trying to escape, but uh, thinking the format and producing a, a, different, a, a different format. And you can say, but this becomes your and it, it does becomes then the th the thing that you are identified with, huh? which is maybe you, what you what you were talking about with this the, the idea of deconstruction. Or I'm not sure that this is the link you wanted to to make, but one is always. Uh, yeah. Because what is interesting is that you decided to uh, call it a score, and that you would not change it. You see, so that it does not become contingent to factors that yeah. might influence, or after 14 years, right, to repeat this as a score means that you mean it as yeah. for consumption. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, but maybe I have a, a, an element which is in, which is interesting in re this regard. I did in 2009 a piece called "Product of Other Circumstances." which is also the, the product of a commission similar to this. And <clears throat> the conclusion of the piece is, um, in that case, that the work I'd done, product of other sequences, is, from my point of view, an amateur work, which is a little bit going in this. Uh, uh, so 10 years after what, how the system operate on me, but not only on me, I think on, on the society where do it yourself, everybody can use the internet and you do and, and everybody is uh, somehow professional but, but amateur 
and we work all the time and there is not anymore this separation between the leisure time and the working time. If you spend your time on Facebook, you work for Facebook, of course, so, so it's always, always somehow working. And um, so this is how it, the, the, more, how I, it operates and how I, I operate with, the, with this. I, th I don't, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's sort of a complement to what you, you were saying, I think, yeah. I think we should wrap it up. Yeah, there. because I start to be tired and I, I repeat yes, myself. Yes, because uh, <laughs> Xavier has I landed this morning to Hong myself. Kong, so he did actually, <laughs> so he flew overnight from Paris. Yes. So I would like to thank you so much for thank your you.